I made a few simple changes to my iPhone settings and it completely transformed how I use my phone every day. If you're looking to streamline your iPhone experience and boost productivity, you won't want to miss these game-changing tips. Let's check them out. So I love listening to music while I work, and a lot of times you'll find me wearing my headphones and enjoying my favorite music while I'm in a world of my own. To ensure I'm aware of important sounds in my environment, I've enabled the sound recognition feature on my iPhone. This feature detects sounds in the background that I have configured and lets me know about them through the notification on my phone. To enable the sound recognition on your iPhone, go to Settings, Accessibility, sound recognition and then enable the toggle. You can then select the sound option then in the following window choose the sound you want your phone to recognize for you. I'm gonna go ahead and choose a few here. I'm gonna do baby crying and I'm gonna go ahead and select the dog and I'm gonna turn on the fire alarm because we don't want to ever miss those. Now when any of those sounds are recognized it will trigger the notification in my home screen. So if you're a diehard Apple fan, you're probably interested in any communication and release that the company makes. However, if you're like me and not interested in any of those announcements, you probably don't appreciate the emails Apple sends out about their products. Fortunately, Apple gives you the option to opt out of these notifications. To stop receiving these emails and notifications, open the settings app, tap on your Apple ID, select personal information. Then choose the communication preferences, then simply disable the communication preferences that you don't want. It's common to hand your iPhone to someone to watch a video, read something, or look at a photo. If you want to prevent someone from switching to another app and keep them on the screen that you gave them access to, Guided Access is an accessibility feature that lets you restrict your iPhone to a single app. Once you enable it, your iPhone will lock the app on that screen, so the other person can't switch to a different app. To enable guided access, go into your settings and down to accessibility. Click on guided access. To enable guided access, you need to turn on face ID or set up guided passcode. Once guided access is enabled, open the app that you want to secure. Triple click the side home button. This will bring up the guided access menu. Click the start button to begin the guided access session. The other person will have access to the entire application until you exit it. To exit guided access mode, you can either triple click the home button and enter your passcode you set, or double click if you enable the face ID feature. Once the menu pops back up, click the end button and that's it. The Pro and Plus versions of the iPhone have their own advantages compared to the regular iPhone variants one of which is a bigger screen. However, if you tend to use only one hand for typing on your iPhone, then using these larger iPhone screens can be quite a problem. To use the one-handed keyboard, bring up the keyboard on your iPhone, then tap and hold the globe or the emoji button. Now choose the direction in which you want the keyboard to appear. Your keyboard will become slightly smaller, making it easier to type on the screen, especially if you're a one-handed user. Most of us have the habit of keeping our phones on silent. While this ensures we aren't disturbed by calls during important meetings, it can also cause communication problems. One such issue happened when my daughter had a flat tire and tried to reach me by phone. Because my phone was on silent, I didn't hear the ring and ultimately couldn't respond in time. To avoid such situations, the iPhone offers an emergency bypass setting. After configuring this setting, your iPhone will ring through for the person you have designated in the emergency bypass setting, even when it's on silent. To configure the emergency bypass settings on your phone, open the contact of the person you want to add, and then tap the edit option. Select ringtone, and then enable the emergency bypass toggle, then tap done. And make sure to follow the same process for the text tone as well. So your iPhone has a long list of features and settings that can be surprisingly useful. Let me know in the comments below what settings you found most useful for you. And if you found value in this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and hit that notification bell so you are alerted when new videos like this are posted. Thanks for watching.